All right, this next tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to use the rectangular pattern tool. I am just going to choose a surface here. How about the top of the E? I'm going to make something, and I'm not paying too much attention to what it is. I'm just going to make maybe a circle with a 0.1 diameter, finish sketch, and uh, let us extrude that by just a little bit. How about not one inch? That's a little much. How about we do it by 0.1? and hit OK. So I've just got this little knob thing here and uh, I'm going to show you how to use the rectangular pattern tool. It's actually really easy and kind of cool. So let's look straight at the top. Mm, maybe not quite straight because then you're never quite sure what's going on. So let's look at the top at a bit of an angle and um, so you have a rectangular tool in your sketch mode and you have one in 3D in this model space. So I'm going to use it in model space. I like using things in model space if possible. Rectangle, you get this little box here. First thing it's looking for is the feature. And so the feature is just this part here. And uh, then it's going to look for direction one and direction two. So basically when you pattern it, you can kind of do along the X axis and along the Y axis and you can choose with these direction one and direction two. So direction one, let's say, just choose anything that's parallel to that direction. So how about this edge here? And then notice how it has this green arrow. We don't want to pattern it out that way because uh, we want it to stay on the top of the E here. So this little uh, flip symbol here will change that direction. And then you can tell it how many. So let's say we want to have four of them. And obviously four is not going to fit at this spacing that we have here. So let's change the spacing to, I don't know, will point two work? Point two is perfect. Look at that. All right, we want to pattern it in two directions though. We also want to pattern that going down. So we'll choose something pa parallel to the second direction. So this here would be a good one. And uh, again, it's choosing not the direction we want. We want it to pattern going down. So we use this flip tool for direction two. And uh, then we can say how many. How about if we say we want 20? Uh oh. This is going to cause all kinds of problems. Let's just go with it and see if we can get past that and put 0.2 for the distance. And look at that. How about we actually make it 18? Because 20 so just does seem to be a little bit much. And then we'll hit OK. And notice how all these cute little nubs are patterned in a rectangular pattern tool.